Hi, welcome to this Corporate Maths video on money. And in this video, we're going to focus on questions which involve the cost per kilogram. So in other words, if we're going into a shop and buying fruit or vegetables or things like that, sometimes we're told the cost of one kilogram of something. So for example, here, we're told that one kilogram of apples costs two pound. And we might be asked to find the cost of two kilograms of apples or three kilograms of apples or seven kilograms of apples or so on. So if we're told that one kilogram costs two pound, two kilograms would be two lots of two pound. So we would do two lots of two pound and two lots of two pound would be four pound. And we find that by just multiplying the cost, the two pound, by the number of kilograms we wanted. Now, if we want to find the cost of three kilograms of apples, well, one kilogram costs two pound, two kilograms costs four pound, three kilograms would cost six pound, or another way of doing that would just be three lots of two pound. So three lots of two pound, which would be equal to six pound, just multiplying the cost per kilogram by the number of kilograms we wanted. And finally, if we wanted to find the cost of seven kilograms of apples, we would do seven lots of two pound, so seven times by two pound, which would be equal to 14 pound. So we just multiply the cost per kilogram by the number of kilograms we want, and that would tell us the total cost. Now, we may not always want to find the cost of a whole number of kilograms of a particular item. Here we looked at two kilograms, three kilograms, and seven kilograms of apples. But what if we wanted to find the cost of 4.5 kilograms or 9.7 kilograms? Or if I went into a sweet shop, I might not even want to buy a kilogram of sweets. I might want to buy 500 grams or 250 grams. So it can be useful to know our conversion facts, particularly for non-calculator questions. So one kilogram is a thousand grams. So that means that if we had half a kilogram, that would be half of a thousand would be 500 grams. So if we wanted to find the cost of something that weighed 500 grams, that would be half a kilogram. So if we knew the price for one kilogram, 500 grams would be half that price. A quarter of a kilogram, well, a quarter of a kilogram would be a quarter of a thousand, which is 250. So if we wanted to find the cost of something that weighed 250 grams, we could take the cost of one kilogram and divide it by four because it's a quarter of a kilogram. Three quarters of a kilogram, well, that's 750 grams. So again, that can be very useful. A fifth of a kilogram, well, a fifth of a thousand is 200. So 200 grams is a fifth of a kilogram. And a tenth of a kilogram, well, a tenth of a thousand is 100. So these can be very useful, particularly in non-calculator questions, or even whenever you're in shops yourself and you want to work out the price of something. If you know the price of one kilogram, you can work out some of these um, prices really quickly and easily by just knowing that it's half of a kilogram or a quarter or three quarters or a fifth or if it was 400 grams, two fifths, and you can work out two fifths off the price for one kilogram, and you can work out those prices quite nicely. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look at four typical exam questions now. The first one is a non-calculator question, and the next, then the three after are calculator questions. So here's our question. We have got some prices, bananas are the cost 45 pH, we've got grapes that cost one pound 80 per kilogram, and peaches that cost one pound 60 per kilogram. And Paddy buys four bananas, three kilograms of grapes and one and a half kilograms of peaches and we've been asked to find the total cost. So we're going to find the price of each of these fruits individually. So we've got there are four bananas and the bananas cost 45 pH. So we could write 45 P four times and add them up or what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply them. I'm going to take our 45 P and multiply it by four. So four times five is 20. So put our zero down, carry the two and four times four is 16 add on the two is going to be equal to 18. So four bananas costs 180 pence or one pound 80. So we've got our one pound 80 for the price of four bananas. Grapes, they cost one pound 80 per kilo and we want to buy three kilos. So if we take the price per kilo and multiply that by the three kilograms, that three, we'll find the total price of the three kilograms of grapes. So we've got our 180 pence per kilogram, one pound 80, and we're going to multiply that by three. So three times zero is zero. Three times eight is 24, put our four down, carry our two. And three times one is three, add two is five. So that means that the cost of three kilograms of grapes is five pound 40. So let's write that down, five pound 40 for the grapes. And finally, one and a half kilograms of peaches. Now we know that one kilogram of peaches is one pound 60 or 160 pence. And a half a kilogram of peaches would be 80 pence because that's half of 160. So that means a half a kilogram is 80 pence. 
So if we add those two together, the price of one kilogram and half a kilogram, we'll find the cost of one and a half kilograms of peaches. So zero plus zero is zero. Six plus eight is equal to 14. Put the four down, carry the one. And one plus one is equal to two. So that means the cost of one and a half kilograms of peaches is two pound 40. We found the price of one kilogram, the one pound 16. Half a kilogram, which is half of that, half of 16 is eight, so that would be 80 pence. And adding together the 160 and the 80 gives us two pound 40. Now we know the cost of the bananas, the cost of the grapes, and the cost of the peaches. We can add them together to get the grand total. So we're gonna to add together our one pound 80, our five pound 40, and our two pound 40, and find out what those are, those add together to give us. Now you could add these up with our decimal points in and use pounds and pence if you wish. I've just used pence just because it's, it's what I do sometimes. <laughs> okay, so zero plus zero plus zero is zero. 8 plus 4 is equal to 12, plus another 4 is 16. So put our 6 down and carry our 1. And let's add up our pounds. 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So that means the total cost is 960 pence or £9.60. And that's it. So the cost of our fruit here would be £9.60 in total. Okay, let's have a look at our calculator question. Okay, and our next question. In our next question, we're told that turnips cost 80 pence per kilogram and carrots cost 60 pence per kilogram. And we're told that Jess buys 2.4 kilograms of turnips and 3.7 kilograms of carrots. And we've been asked to find the total price. So remember, if we go back to our apples, if we multiply the cost for one kilogram by the weight or the mass of what we want to buy, the number of kilograms, we'll find the total cost. So that means if, for instance, here, the turnips, we know that they cost 80 pence, so 80 pence, and we're gonna multiply that by the number of kilograms that we buy, that 2.4. So we're gonna do 2.4 times 80. And if we do 2.4 times 80, we get that that's equal to 192 pence, or one pound 92. Next, we're gonna find the cost of our carrots. So carrots cost 60 pence per kilo, and we're gonna multiply that by 3.7, the number of kilograms that we wanna find the cost of. So 60 pence times by 3.7 would be 222 pence or two pound 22. And we're gonna add those together to find the total price. And this is a calculator question. So 192 plus 222 would be equal to 414 pence, which would be equal to four pound 14. So the cost of Jess's turnips and carrots is four pound 14. So the next question says, Stefan buys four kilograms of apples and three kilograms of oranges, and the total price is 10 pound and two pence. And the apples cost one pound 20 per kilogram, and we've been asked to work out the cost of one kilogram of oranges. So in this question, we've been given the total price and the cost per kilogram for the apples, and we need to find the cost per kilogram for the oranges. So we know that Stefan buys four kilograms of apples, and they cost one pound 20 per kilogram. So if we multiply the one pound 20 by four, we'll find the total cost of the apples. So four times by one pound 20 will be equal to four pound 80. So Stefan spends four pound 80 on the apples. Now if we subtract that from the total price, we'll see how much Stefan spent on the oranges. So we've got our 10 pound and two pence, and we're gonna take away four pound 80. And when we do 10 pound and two pence and take away our four pound 80, we get that that's equal to five pound 22. So Stefan spent five pound 22 on the oranges, but that was for three kilograms of oranges and we only want to find the cost of one kilogram of oranges. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide this five pound 22 by three to find the cost of one kilogram of oranges. So we've got our five pound 22, total cost of three kilograms and if we divide that by three we'll find the cost of one kilogram so dividing by three gives us one pound 74 so that means that one kilogram of oranges costs one pound 74 okay and our last question our last question says asparagus costs eight pound 30 per kilogram so that's expensive and broccoli costs one pound 40 per kilogram nazia buys 2.5 kilograms two and a half kilograms of broccoli and some asparagus and the total cost is 13.46 and the question says, how much asparagus does Nazia buy? So we know in this question that the total price is 13.46. We know how much broccoli Nazia buys, and we know that it costs one pound 40 per kilogram. So if we multiply the one pound 40 by 2.5, we'll find the total cost of the broccoli. So we're gonna do a one pound 40 multiplied by 2.5. So that means that the total cost of the broccoli will be equal to three pound 50. 
So that means out of the £13.46, £3.50 of it was for broccoli and the rest was for the asparagus. So let's take our £13.46 and subtract £3.50. And when we do that, we get that that's equal £9.96. So that means that Nazio spent £9.96 on asparagus. Now the asparagus costs £8.30 per kilogram. So if we divide the total cost of the asparagus by the cost per kilogram, we'll know how many kilograms she buys. So if we take our £9.96 and we divide that by £8.30, we'll find how many kilograms she buys. So 9.96 divided by 8.3 is equal to 1.2. So that means that Nazia buys 1.2 kilograms of asparagus, and that's it.